the first part of of uh, the discussion really it surrounds margins for DCIS when patients are receiving breast conserving therapy. National guidelines for invasive breast cancer, that is a margin width of no tumor on ink, has resulted in an adoption uh, across the United States, has resulted in, in decreased rates of mastectomy. Now this, is, this has been clearly demonstrated at, at um, our recent ASCO meeting. But we're a little bit confused as to how we could have a different margin width criteria for ductal carcinoma in situ, that's pure DCIS, versus invasive breast cancer with DCIS. Um, especially, of course, when these patients are receiving postoperative radiotherapy. Uh, there is data that, in fact, the, that there is multifocality related to DCIS, older studies, but these same criteria apply when DCIS accompanies the invasive breast cancer. So we were a little bit concerned about this at MD Anderson. So Dr. Tadros presented our data at ASCO uh, last month looking at the contemporary outcome of patients treated with breast conserving therapy, stratifying negative margin with less than two millimeters versus greater than two millimeters. And in her analysis, she found that um, as long as these patients were receiving postoperative radiotherapy, that the local recurrence rates for both groups, less than two millimeter versus greater, were below five percent at 10 years. So what that means to us is this might prevent about 10 percent of these patients, at least at MD Anderson, from going back to have additional surgery uh, when in fact they rarely may not need it.